you guys and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. So today we are in the chicken coop and I'm going to be showing you how I made them a pecking garden. Do you want to see? Stay tuned. Okay, you guys. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you start to finish how I made them a pecking garden, how we built it, how I put everything together, how in the beginning, the seeds that I started, which was trial and error versus what the seeds I'm going to be using now moving forward. This video is a little bit lengthy, but again, I'm showing you how we built everything, how we started and how I had to change things for a better outcome. So if you'd like to see the whole entire process, here you go. So I'm gonna put a box right here and I measured it out. It's gonna basically, hi Luna. It's gonna be four feet long by two feet wide. So like a little four by two area that's gonna go right there. It'll take a few weeks obviously for what I do plant to grow up so they can actually utilize it. But we gotta start the first step by building the boxes. So, oh yeah. So this is what it looks like currently. They have their roosting bars that goes all the way up to here. That's where they sleep at night. And then I will be putting something on this side and then attaching something from that to this eventually. So they kind of have like a little jungle gym area to climb around over there. And then everything over here would be for them to like dig and dust bathe and all of that good stuff. So I can't wait to get this started. All right, so for this project, we are using pressure treated wood. One of them is size one by six by 12. That is for the actual base of the bottom. And then we have two that are two by two by eight, and that will complete the lid. Once we mark them, we're just using a regular basic handsaw. He's just cutting them out by hand, simple and easy. So bringing the wood to the floor area so I have a larger surface, I just set them up so we can see how they are. He's first starting by pre-drilling the holes and then he is screwing in the screws. For the bottom, he's using two on each side. For the top, since it is not as thick, he's only gonna be using one. So once all four sides are done for the bottom, we started to do the top, but then notice that I did measure that incorrectly. I did not take into consideration that the top was a thicker wood than the bottom. So one small minor adjustment and we're back on track. And same as the bottom, he's pre-drilling the hole and then screwing in the screw for all four sides. Once that is done, we're going to measure out the middle. For the remaining pieces of wood, we're going to make some support pieces on the inside. Not sure if you guys know, but these birds can get actually heavy. They can get 15 to 20 pounds each, and that is a whole lot of weight just sitting on top of this little hardware cloth. So I did want to have some support to hold them up. And of course, my sweet little Vienna is not too far behind. She's always near us at all times. So here's some little Vienna love. Now back to the project. Let's go ahead and screw in those support pieces. So he rolled out the hardware cloth, set the lid on top, and then cut it out. At this point, I will then take over because I'm going to attach the hardware cloth to the lid. At first, I just started by folding it over, and then I'm using the staple gun, and I'm putting it on there with the staples on the bottom. I want to make sure that everything is going to be underneath, so nothing is going to hurt them at all. So all edges, everything will be on the bottom. The top will be nice and smooth. And my man is actually a locksmith, so of course he has actual door hinges. These probably could have been a little bit smaller, but we had them, so might as well use what we have. So we're just going to go ahead and apply these door hinges right here just so the lid will open and close nice and easy. And then I wanted a little bit more security, so I wanted to put a latch here. You probably do not need to have this, but when the grass does kind of grow up and is nice and strong, it will actually push the lid up. So I definitely wanted to have something to keep this lid safe, secure, and down. So now Vienna and I went over to Home Depot. Here's Vienna. We got two bags of soil, came back home, and I used like this liner that goes inside of like, you know, to keep weeds from growing up. And I stapled that on the inside of the box. So here is the completed pecking garden. Some people call it a chicken salad bar or even a grazing box, but I call it a pecking garden. So this is the complete box. Now I put in 
the liner on the inside and then I went around to all of the edges and made sure that I hammered everything down so there's no sharp edges anywhere in case their little toes touch anything getting on or off I don't want any anything on here to actually hurt them or make them bleed or anything so I wanted to make sure everything is secure I rub my hand around everything and nothing is sticking me so they should be good to go so let's go ahead and put it in and fill it up with soil Okay, so it almost fit basically even right in between where I was hoping that it would and filled it all with soil. Now, I'm going to put in some of these wheat grass sprouting seeds. These came in my Clucks of Joy box by the Pampered Chicken Mama. And then I bought these two off of Amazon. So I got alfalfa sprouts and broccoli sprouts. So Ginger's finally starting to walk on top of it. So today is day two. Yesterday I just watered it in the morning and then watered it in the evening. And today I watered it in the morning. Well, hello. Obviously they don't know just yet what's going to be happening, but I wanna show you, hey, this one's been attacking me. Mm -hmm. Can you please move? Okay, get off Ginger, Ginger. Can you please get off? Hey, off, down, get down, get down. Okay, so again, this is day two and I do have some that is starting to sprout. So that is really exciting. So this side, there's a lot of sprouts going on and over here, there are some too. So that's what it looks like right now on day two. And this is day four. A whole lot more growth in just the last two days. There's a little bit going on with the wheat grass and then there's a lot more. Look, she's like, ooh. <laughs> yeah, she just took one. <laughs> All right. So this is day six. They've all realized now what's kind of growing underneath. And so they have been so infatuated with this box that normally throughout the day, they'll all be on here trying to peck at everything. But I wanted to show you A, how the new growth is looking now. And if you follow me with my garden saga and my mushrooms, <laughs> I wanna show you, <laughs> I, have, I have mushrooms in here, Ginger. <laughs> She's like, ooh, don't mind if I do. But yeah, there is literally mushrooms throughout this entire thing. But look at all of this growth really quick before I close it, because now they're gonna just start coming over here and eating everything. <laughs> Hold on, it's gonna get bigger, you'll see. <laughs> but these literally, like, they can, they can literally grab these now. So there is stuff in here that they can get to already. So I'm so excited that they already know what to do. A few more days and a whole lot more should be going on. So today I believe is day nine. Yesterday would have been day eight and I didn't record this. So this is what it looks like. I just watered it on day nine. She's like, ooh. There are still a few mushrooms in here. This grass here I think is a little bit better because it grows straight out of the holes. Watch out, baby. <laughs> um, that's what it seems like they get more. If I see that they cannot get these out with the, the way that it's angled, it's shaped, hi, then I'm gonna just put in the wheatgrass in the whole entire thing. So far, I really haven't seen them be able to grab anything. So I'm just gonna keep an eye. Yes, <laughs> I'm just gonna keep an eye on it. Um, but definitely this one here has worked out the best because it just comes straight out in little blades and they can pull it right out. So it's all trial and error and we'll figure it out. But so far it's been doing great. They get on this several times a day, picking through it, minding their own business sometimes. So I think this has definitely helped give them something to do. Definitely a little bit of a boredom buster. So I'm happy with it. 
So for the redo, I went ahead and put these in last night and just let them sit overnight to kind of open up a little bit more. I feel like doing it that way might help a little bit. And I will go ahead and plant these today and we'll see what happens. Okay, so I put the girls out there for a moment so we can put in this new little vine here. His mom actually gave this to us and I'm super, super excited because I was looking for some type of a perch or like a wood or a tree that had fallen over or something for them to climb on. So this actually worked out perfect right there. But I wanted to show you, I have noticed is both of these two here are not coming up. They probably would come up if I was using the half inch hardware cloth, but I'm using the quarter inch. So it is smaller. I'm doing that for a reason because I don't want them to be able to get their little beaks in there and pull it up from the root. What I'm gonna do is today I'm gonna take out all of these here. I'm gonna snip off all of the greenery and let them have it. So when they do come in here, they have a nice little treat but I'm going to then put in the um, seeds that I had just soaked overnight. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of the sprouting soil on top of it, hoping that it'll keep all of the roots and everything intact where over here, the roots are exposed. So sometimes they'll pull the whole blade with the root and everything, the seed and everything up. And that's what I'm trying to avoid. I'm trying to have this just be all nice and green. And all they do is just eat what's growing, not pulling the whole entire thing. So let me show you inside here so here's like all of these little clover style again i'm gonna do this side first um i'm gonna wait a few days i just ordered some more of the wheat grass seeds so i can do the other side and then once i have both of those sides where they can actually reach it then i will redo this side in the same manner so they'll all end up being exactly the same at the end but um i wanted to show you right here there are a few little blades here and there that did not grow up but you can definitely tell they are maintaining this it looks like someone came through with a weed whacker and cut this <laughs> straight every single morning this is the first thing that they do is come straight to this and see what they can eat out of i watch them on the camera and i'll see all three of them literally just on this main middle section but i'm super excited for me to do that and then bring them in so they can see this new little tree branch here that they can climb on. I hope they actually love it. So let's get to work. Okay, so this is the final outcome after adding the other seeds and the soil on top. This is how it looks. So I'll show you in a couple days when it starts growing. Okay, so I let those sit overnight and let's go ahead and put them in the other side. And if you think that chickens are not loud, think again. Okay, so I'm gonna try to do this. I have two of them in there, one of them up here. So I'm hoping I can do this without her interrupting what I gotta do. But I do wanna show you, today is going to start on day three, so it hasn't been quite three days yet. And look at how much grass I have growing up under there. I'm so, so excited. So in another few days, they should already be able to get that. Um, that's no change. They're still eating it every day. And this one right here, I'm gonna cut out because it is just definitely not, they're not being able to get it. So it's just like the clovers and stuff are just staying underneath. So definitely, I'm so glad that I'm just gonna swap this all out and it'll just all be the grass. So let's get to work on this section to start catching it up to the other. <laughs> Ma'am. Yeah, she might jump down and kind of get in my way, but we'll see how this goes. Well, apparently I did not hit record. <laughs> um, I just went to stop it and my screen was completely black. I'm like, oh, great, thanks. So my girl's actually left me alone. She's over here pecking the greenery that I cut and put on the ground. Um, so I just ripped out all of it the same way I did this side. Just ripped it out, cut them in pieces so they can eat it. And then sprinkled all the seeds down and then I just put the soil right on top. And yeah, so there we go. They literally hang out at this all day. Like this has been the best decision that I've made. But I do wanna show you how it looks today. Today is gonna to be starting on day three. So technically it's been two full days. And I noticed right now 
this side, the soil is extremely high, like higher than it should be because all of the grass is trying to grow through it right now. So I'm gonna show you what I do to kind of just help it out a little bit. I'm gonna put a glove on because they are, as you can tell, they are pooping on this and I don't, I don't really wanna touch that. But let me go ahead and show you. So here is the growth for the new side definitely looks so much better that it's under the soil where over here you can see all of the seeds so if you can see right here it is a nice big poof right here like literally all the oh shit all the grass is under is underneath see so i'm gonna go through and just break up this soil so the grass can grow through. See, look at all that that's under there. So I'm just gonna kind of carefully put it in between. So then, like I said, it can start growing up through the soil. But that is all underneath there already. Let's look over here see it's just all <laughs> it's all underneath all of this and in another day or two we'll be seeing all this nice green grass okay so I wanted to show you um, now that we had a lot of sun today it actually turned all nice and green and it's even sticking up over the thing yeah they, they still are shooting on it like you would think they wouldn't want to shit where they eat but i guess they feel like it's a twofer they can eat and shoot at the same time so <laughs> this just like i said grew up overnight and now it's all nice and green because of the sun today and now they can actually eat this so now that they can eat this side which grew up way better than this side for some reason i think i put more seeds over here um i'm going to redo now the mid whoa luna stop she tries to attack me so as they stand on it you can see okay come on as they stand on it you can see they put the weight on it so they can get to it more so now they can start eating all of that to get it to the same stop <laughs> to get it to the same level but um yeah i'm super excited that it's all nice and full now so i'll start soaking the seeds tonight and then tomorrow i will tear up this side but i'm definitely going to start soaking the seeds then for tonight but yeah that's what they're getting now they love it they're like on this off and on all day stop luna yeah okay okay <laughs> But yeah, there's the pecking garden so far. So one more time, let's re I'll do that over and then it should be nice and good through the whole entire thing. Okay, so this side is literally just staying underneath. Um, so I'm gonna give it a good trim, but I wanted to show you, holy moly, look at all of that. So there's the extra clippings that I took from inside of here. There's my girls all nice and scared, little chickens. <laughs> And now they can go ahead and start playing with this, eat through it, dig through it, and have some fun. It is the next day, and now everything is all nice and green. They literally ate everything that grew up from here yesterday. So I'm so glad that I did cut that. There's a the other part back there that some of them are kind of growing over. I might have to go in and do the same thing, but at least it is all nice and green, and literally they hang out here a lot of the time. I think this is definitely, definitely helping. So I wanted to show you the last several days I wake up and there's tons of these mushrooms that are coming up and I try to get them out before they come up, but apparently today they came up and they are out first. So I need to pull all these off because I don't want them to eat those. So I don't know why it's doing that. It's like several days and I'm pulling them out by the actual stem or the root, I don't know, but they keep coming back and how tall they are okay so i took them out stuck them over there temporarily it's extremely windy today but i wanted to show you every morning i've been coming in for like five six days in a row getting those same mushrooms that i just showed you guys and so every day when i pull them out i'm noticing some of the grass is kind of like it was kind of like molding and rotting and i'm gonna redo this whole entire thing so this is everything that is left i'm gonna rip this all out 
put in some good topsoil again, add in all the new seeds. I have two jars that have been soaking for 24 hours and then put another layer on top. So now this whole entire thing will come up all at the same time. So that's what I'm gonna do now. So practice makes perfect. So let's get this done. Okay, so they're back in. I've got to say they're probably really pissed that there's no greenery or anything. They all got on it and was like, what in the world is going on? So in a few days, they'll start having some green popping up. I'll say maybe three to four days, they'll be back to normal again. So they can be upset just for a few days. And then I think it's going to be perfect, all growing in one. <laughs> Go ahead. I just put first Saturday lime down and cleaned everything in here. So now they're gonna start digging. So it's good. Go ahead, Carm, start playing. Okay, so today is day three and I came in to give it a water and I noticed that the soil level is really, really high pretty much throughout the whole entire thing. So I know I need to kind of break that up a little bit to let that come up and then probably tomorrow they'll have it. So I'm gonna open this up. <laughs> um hopefully they stay away and i'm going to rummage my fingers through it and i can tell there's one little i don't know if you can see that oh yes ma'am hi i do see one that's keep on walking nothing to see here they do just poop all over this thing though like i literally cleaned it i cleaned it all off the other day and now it's filled but you know, they don't understand that concept. But until then, which is not gonna happen. Um, yeah, I do see one growing up, but again, I need to kind of break this up because I do see a lot coming through. I need to kind of help that up a little bit. So I'm gonna go to put a glove on and break that up. Oh. Hi, Ginger. Okay, so you see all the big mounds? That is all the new growth. See that? I do wanna keep some of the soil down because that's the purpose of it, trying to stay where they don't grab the whole entire thing. So I do wanna take some of it off, but still kind of commingle it back into it. Okay. So that's a big difference. You can see now, you can see it kind of coming through. Or this side it's just a big mound on top and that is everything that is left so i'm gonna close it and give it a good water all right so in a few days they should be loving it like they were <laughs> i know i'm so sorry girls i'm so sorry That's how it looks this morning. <laughs> Look at all of that grass that has grown up literally in one more day. So I'm so happy that I redid it all and now they have greens that they can start eating. Okay, so I did a lot of research on Amazon and I found that this was the best rated with the biggest as far as the quantity and the cheapest as in the pricing. If you want, I'll link this down below if you want to check out this one. But this is the one that I'm going to start using now moving forward because it is such a large bag. Because after a while, they do pull it all out. Or since we are in a really humid climate out here in Florida, it starts to kind of get moldy. So it's not 100% growing. So I'm going to redo it one more time. I think that's going to be like an ongoing cycle after so long. I'm just going to have to redo it or just lay down more seed in between. So it'll just keep regrowing. I'll get the hang of it. But this is the one that I um, purchased. And this is what I'm going to start putting in water to start the process overnight. So then tomorrow I can plant this for them because they are definitely missing their greens right now. Okay, so after this last redo, we now actually have, yeah, there's still poop on there, but they now have grass that's sticking up. Yesterday it was nowhere near sticking up. So I think today is day four and they can definitely get it. So probably by the end of today, the rest of the grass will probably be peeking through, but at least for today, they can actually start nibbling on it and give them something to do again because they were a little pissed off that they couldn't do anything here for the last few days. <laughs> so now it's almost back to normal. They should be happy. 
and here is today a few days later it's all nice and big and large but at least it's all nice and green they got their greenery back and this is how i will be doing it now after a while since we are again in a humid state if it does start getting a little bit like moldy or anything underneath i'll just redo it quick and easy with the new seeds that i just got but this only takes just a few days it's super easy and they absolutely love it <laughs> you'll see them spinning most of their day just on here pecking it and enjoying themselves yep so there we have it comment down below and let me know what did you think of this final process <laughs> I now am very happy with how I will be doing it now I have my little game plan and they are loving it all right you guys so that is how I made their pecking garden they absolutely love it every single morning the first thing they do is they go down see what grew see what they can eat and then they're on it off and on throughout the day and I think this was a huge huge game changer in here it's helped them with boredom busters. It's just helped them in general, just throughout the day, <laughs> keeping them busy. So I'm so glad that we came up with this. I'm so glad that we got this down right and they are absolutely loving it. So thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching this video. Comment down below and let me know, have you seen one of these? Do you want to make one? Let me know what you think of them eating their greens from their own pecking garden. So definitely comment down below and let me know your positive interaction means the world and I greatly do appreciate it as I greatly appreciate every single one of you guys. So until next time, you know that drill. Keep a smile on that gorgeous face of yours and we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Crafty crew, out. Say bye.